What's going on everybody, especially Base Nation members? I didn't want to waste too much time, so I'm going to jump right to it. I'm really excited about this new course, a new lesson series, if you want to call it that, on learning and understanding the modes. All right, big difference, learning and understanding. I get tons of questions all the time about how do you approach playing the modes um, and how do I approach playing, especially coming from a bass perspective. Uh, how do I add them in my playing? How do I implement them into my playing? So if that's you, then keep watching this video. The subject is definitely gonna be covered in a few sections just for time's sake. So stay tuned so you can be aware of when I release those lessons. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so here we go. Like I said in the beginning, we're learning and understanding the modes. Alright, so let's talk a little bit. What are the modes? Alright, what is it? What does that mean? Okay, uh, when people hear modes, especially in my experience of, of teaching, when they hear modes or do you know your modes, do you know how to play <laughs> all seven different uh, modes? Um, they kind of get discouraged and a little overwhelmed uh, or a little bit intimidated because there's seven different scales that you got to learn, uh, you know, different patterns that you have to learn or have to know um, to play them. And, and a lot of people don't get a good understanding of how to use them. So they might learn them and they'll forget them. Uh, I know I was a product of that. <laughs> I learned them very earlier on in my playing. But as soon as I learned them, I forgot them. I figured I didn't need them. It just it was confusing to me. So I understand how it can it how it can be confusing to you. So a lot of questions that I get about learning the modes, um, I'm definitely going to go over in this lesson or in the next few lessons uh, to come. So back to my question: What are the modes? All right. The way that I like to think about the modes is to think of one very long scale. Right. So take a two octave scale or even a three octave scale and just visualize it. I use uh, the piano as a reference a lot. Um, so take a C major scale. You play the C major scale. You have all the white keys. All right. Once you finish with that scale, if you were to keep going with all the rest of the white keys, you're going to be repeating the notes over and over again that you just played. The same seven notes you're going to be repeating all over again. All right. So think about that. Just visualize that as we <laughs> go on this journey. The first mode. All right. Ionian is the major scale. And that's another thing too, all right? So the names Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian, it sounds like I'm speaking another language, right? Um, but it can get, like I said, that can get very intimidating, learning these uh, very foreign names uh, to these scales, but simplify it, okay? Put numbers right along with these names. So I'll show you what I mean. So the Ionian is the first scale. We're, in, we're doing a major uh, mode. I know there's other modes uh, like the melodic minor uh, mode and uh, there's other various modes, but we're learning this major mode now just to get a foundation. All right, so I know there's other modes like melodic minor and other various modes, uh, but we're gonna be focusing on the major, all right? Uh, just to get a found, lay it a foundation. Once we do that, you'll be able to learn the other ones and it'll make a lot more sense to you um, if you learn the basic modes right now. So what I'll do is I'll play it in C. I like playing everything in, um, not everything, but I like playing most things when you first learn them in the key of C because we don't have C major because we don't have any accidentals, all right? We don't have any sharps or flats, all right? We're just working with straight C, D, E, F, G, A, B and C. <laughs> All right. So first mode, Ionian, I-O-N-I-A-N. All right. And if you don't already know your major scale, there's tons of videos that I have now um, that are explaining a major scale. So you want to learn your basic scale, especially your major and minor scale. Um, definitely want to be able to be fluent in playing that uh, because we will be mixing it up a little bit here. But anyway, so that's just a basic major scale. You got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That is the first mode, all right? Ionian, just a fancy name for the first scale. <laughs> fancy name for the first scale, Ionian. All right, so the next mode, we're still playing the same scale. We're still playing in C major, all right? We didn't move away from that. We haven't, we haven't gone away from that. We're still in the key of C major. The only difference is for the second mode, we're playing the second note, all right? We're gonna be starting on the second note of the scale, all right? So, if this was our first scale, our second note of that scale should be D, okay? We're gonna start on that second note and play the rest of the scale. And whatever note we start on, we have to end on that one, all right? So just to review, 
We're playing the C major scale, but we're starting on the D. Alright, now there's another way, there's an easier way to play that. Alright, so if you, so you don't have to have that shift from the C to the D, there's another way to play that. Uh, especially for bass, like I say, you're coming from a bass perspective to be able to, or guitar perspective uh, even, to be able to play this scale. So the, the second scale, I don't know if I said the name of it or not, uh, but Dorian, D-O-R-I-A-N. All right, so we have D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. All right, so that's our Dorian scale. Easy way to remember that is D for Dorian, especially if you're in the key of C major, all right? Um, we're playing, we're starting on D, and it just so happened to be the Dorian scale. All right, so that's a good way to think about it now once you're doing it in, in the key of C major. So, that's our second mode. All right, the fingering for that will be one, three, four, one, three, or four. You can play that same note with either finger, whatever one, uh, whichever one feels comfortable for you. All right, so one, three, four, one, three, shift back to the fourth fret to the B all right so it's not going to be a perfect fingering for this scale just like our other ones like a minor scale would be a perfect uh, you know four four finger pattern all right but this one you got to go outside of it a little bit so shift back to the B C and then D all right so we're playing the scale we're still playing a C major scale it just sounds different because we started on a different note that's all it is all right so the first mode is Ionian second mode is Dorian it starts on the D starts on the second note all right so if that started on the second note the third mode should start on uh, you guessed it <laughs> the third note all right so the third mode starts on the third note of the C major scale. All right, which is E. And we're still playing the major scale. The only difference about playing the modes here, so say, like I say, I referenced the, the piano or the keyboard a lot. So if we were to start E on he, E here, right? And play the rest of the scale, the C major scale, which would be E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. But who wants to play all those shifts? You know, who who wants to do that, all right? So we have to find another way to play, especially for bass, all right? On the keyboard, it's a little bit different because it's just, it's very linear. You can visualize it, and it's a very linear motion. All right, you just keep going up. There's no switching strings, and there's no uh, uh, shifting or anything like that. Well, you have to shift with, well, that's a different type of shifting. <laughs> anyway, uh, so there's a different way to play that, all right? So we still start on E. But there's a, there's a different way to play it, like I said all the time. So we're going to hit that E on our A string on the seventh fret. Okay, so we have that same E. So we're not changing the notes, we're just changing the position. All right, so it makes it easier for us to play. All right, so we have this uh, A, D string, A, D, and G string pattern, all right, that we're using. So we're not constantly, I mean, if we would keep going down, we don't have enough strings for that. All right especially if you play a four string. So seventh fret, uh, A string will be the E. Now you just finish it off. All right, so it's gonna be E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. All right, the fingering for that one. One, two, four, one, three, four, one, three, all right, and notice that these, the last two modes have more of a minor sound to them. That's because of that minor third. Automatically, you should be able to hear that, uh, that minor third that makes that uh, almost a minor mode. So, it almost starts, if you realize, it just almost starts off like the regular minor, just a regular natural minor scale. The first five notes are exactly the same. But it switches, it switches there for the second mode. All right, so you have some things that are different about it. So these fingerings, 
uh, you kind of have to uh, burn them in your brain and, and try to remember the fingerings for them. And once you do, you can move these around and it'll be the same thing. It'll be the same exact thing, all right? So, we left off, left, left off on the three. Now that one is a little bit different because we have a flat two. Not necessarily um, starts off like the minor scale because it's flat. That one is flat, so. But then the rest of it sounds like a natural minor scale. <laughs> All right, just that one note difference. Because the E and F are right next to each other. All right, so that's the Phrygian. I didn't even say the name of that, sorry. I didn't say the name of that. Phrygian. Um, P H Y. Wow. Is it R G I A N? I get that confused all the time, sorry. It should be somewhere on the screen. All right, so Phrygian, uh, that's the third mode. All right, one, two, four, one, three, four, one, three. Okay, so that's the Phrygian mode. All right, so next we have, all right, we're going to the fourth mode. Of course, if, we, if we're going to the fourth mode, it's going to be the fourth note of the major scale. two, three, four, all right, which is the F. All right, so we're starting on F, which is right next to E. So we have F. This one we're gonna start on the second finger. So F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. All right, pretty simple, right? So that fingering for that, it will be two, four, one, three, four, one, three, four. All right, guys, so there's the first four modes. We got Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, and Lydian. Like I said in the beginning, don't let the names of them fool you. All right, put a number to the name. Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, all right? One for Ionian, two for Dorian, three for Phrygian, and four for Lydian. All right, as long as you match up that number with the name, you'll be okay. All right, guys, so unfortunately, I have to split this up into a few sections, but be sure to stay tuned in the near future for the release of the next part of this series, The Modes. Until next time.